We already know what are half wave symmetric signals and how to check the half wave symmetry. And now in this lecture we will solve two problems based on half wave symmetric signals. We will try to check if the given signal is half wave symmetric or not. If you remember the lecture in which we discussed half wave symmetric signals, there was one condition for half wave symmetry. If signal xt is half wave symmetric then it should be equal to minus xt plus minus t by 2 where t is the time period and to obtain this result you simply need to perform either the left shift or the right shift by t by 2 and then you need to perform the amplitude reversal and if the obtained signal is same as the original signal then we can say that signal xt is the half wave symmetric signal now there is one important point regarding this result and also regarding the half wave symmetric signals. This t is the time period and we know t is equal to n times t naught where t naught t naught is the fundamental time period and to make our calculations easy we will uh, take t naught in place of t and how we can do that if n is equal to 1 then t will be same as t naught so in this we can write t naught in place of t and in this way there will be minimum shift in the waveform so this is what you need to remember regarding this result and the half wave symmetric signals are always periodic you can see this result and this is the condition for half wave symmetric signals and in this condition you can see t naught is involved so there is fundamental time period is involved and the fundamental time period or simply the time period is only for the periodic signals so half wave symmetric signals are always periodic let's say there is a signal x1t and you can say signal x1t is aperiodic or non-periodic then there is no need to check for the half wave symmetry there is no need to check this condition you can straight away say that signal x1t is not half wave symmetric why because it is aperiodic and for aperiodic signals time period is not defined and if the time period is not defined you cannot check this condition so this is one important point you should know regarding the half wave symmetric signals and the use of the half wave symmetric signals you will see in the Fourier series now we will move to our first problem in this problem signal xt is given here this is the waveform of signal xt and as you can see there is a particular structure repeated in this waveform and also from minus infinity to infinity this signal is periodic you can clearly see this structure is repeated and it is repeated after this time period so this is the fundamental time period and you can also see this dots here and this represents the signal exists from minus infinity to infinity so there is repetition of this particular structure infinite times so this is a periodic signal and as xt is periodic we can check for half wave symmetry so we will perform either right shift or the left shift by t naught by 2 so what is the half time period this period here and this period here is the half time period and you can shift the waveform either left by t naught by 2 or either right by t naught by 2 in the previous lecture we shifted the waveform towards the left so this time we will shift the waveform towards the right we will have xt minus t naught by 2 and the waveform will look like this and we have obtained it by performing the right shift by t naught by 2 and when signal xt is having this waveform even if you perform the left shift by t naught by 2 you will get the same waveform so if you perform x t plus t naught by 2 you will get the same waveform there is no difference now we will move to the last step in which we will perform the amplitude reversal and this signal will be minus x t minus t naught by 2 
or minus x t plus t naught by 2. In this case, we are having the same waveform after performing the right shift or the left shift, but not every time you will get the same waveform. So this is not true for all the signals. It is true in this particular case only. Now let's quickly perform the amplitude reversal. We will flip the waveform about the x-axis. Now we will compare the first waveform and the last waveform and you can clearly see they are not same. So xt is not same as minus xt plus minus t naught by 2 and the condition of half wave symmetry is not satisfied. So we can say that signal xt, signal xt is not half wave symmetric and signal xt is having a name. We call this type of signal sawtooth signal, sawtooth signal. So sawtooth signal is not half wave symmetric signal. Now let's move to the second problem. In the second problem, you can see the waveform of signal xt and this problem is homework for you. You need to tell me signal xt is half wave symmetric or not. Follow the same steps we have followed in the first problem. First perform the time shifting by t naught by 2 either left or right and then perform the amplitude reversal. If the two waveforms are same then we will say that signal xt is half wave symmetric. So I hope this topic is clear to you and once you have your answer of this problem post it in comment section.